Princess Charlotte, the daughter of future King William, is caught in a distressing rumor questioning whether she will receive less attention from her parents compared to Princes George and Louis. Despite not being displaced by Louis in the line of succession, Charlotte is unlikely to surpass her brother, Prince George. As a result, there are concerns that Kate and William might not prioritize Charlotte and could even leave her to the care of nannies. To uncover the truth about Charlotte's relationship with her parents, particularly William, watch this video. No doubt looking at William's face when Charlotte was born, he couldn't hide his joy. On May 2, 2015, at 8.34 a.m., the world learned of Princess Charlotte's arrival not through the historic easel outside Buckingham Palace, but through a tweet from the official Kensington Palace Twitter account. The tweet read, Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, was safely delivered of a daughter at 8.34 a.m., marking a significant moment in royal history and showcasing the power of social media in disseminating important news rapidly. This digital announcement reflected a new era for the British monarchy, one that embraced the speed and reach of modern technology while still respecting age-old traditions. The traditional easel was still placed outside Buckingham Palace, maintaining a link to the past, but the tweet ensured that the news reached a global audience instantly. Prince William, though not particularly verbose with the press following Charlotte's birth, conveyed his joy and excitement about being a father to a daughter. When approached by reporters outside St. Mary's Hospital, he simply stated that he was very happy. His brief but heartfelt comment underscored the pride and happiness that the birth of his daughter brought to the royal family. William's joy at becoming a father to a baby girl was palpable, yet it was also clear that he felt the weight of his growing responsibilities. In the weeks leading up to Charlotte's birth, during a walkabout, he candidly shared his thoughts with a crowd. They say that number one is a life changer and that number two is a game changer, he remarked, capturing the essence of transitioning from a family of three to a family of four. His comments reflected the universal experiences of many parents who find that each new addition to the family brings its own unique set of challenges and joys. As the only daughter of Prince William, heir to the British throne, Princess Charlotte has been a subject of great public interest and has drawn numerous comparisons to her late grandmother, Princess Diana. Diana Frances Spencer, known for her compassion, humanitarian work, and tragic death in 1997, has left an indelible mark on her family and the world. William's profound loss of his mother at a young age has significantly influenced his life and his approach to parenting, especially when it comes to Princess Charlotte. In the 2017 documentary Mind Over Marathon, Prince William opened up about the enduring impact of his mother's death. He expressed that even after two decades, the shock of losing Diana still lingers. I still feel 20 years later about my mother. I still have shock within me, he said. You know, 20 years later, people go, shock can't last that long, but it does. You never get over it. It is such an unbelievably big moment in your life that it never leaves you. You just learn to deal with it. This candid admission highlighted the depth of his grief and the lasting influence of Diana's death on his emotional well-being. To honor Diana's legacy and ensure that his children, including Princess Charlotte, are connected to their grandmother, Prince William has made a conscious effort to incorporate Diana's memory into their lives. In an ITV documentary, he shared that he frequently talks about Granny Diana with his children and has placed more photos of her around their home. We've got more photos up around the house now of her and we talk about her a bit and stuff, William revealed. This ongoing dialogue helps keep Diana's presence alive in their family and provides Charlotte with a sense of her grandmother's influence and legacy. One of the most poignant tributes to Diana is seen in Princess Charlotte's full name, Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. This name was carefully chosen to honor both her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and her late-grandmother, Diana. By including Diana's name, 
William and Catherine have ensured that her memory is woven into the very identity of their daughter, a gesture that speaks volumes about the importance of Diana's legacy in their lives. Unlike many modern parents who opt to know their baby's gender in advance, Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales, chose to keep it a surprise. Consequently, William had little time to adjust to the idea of raising a daughter, making the experience both thrilling and challenging. And in a candid 2016 interview on the Vietnamese talk show Talk Vietnam, Prince William opened up about his journey into fatherhood and how it has profoundly impacted his life. He expressed his deep love for his children while also acknowledging the difficulties that came with the transition. I've struggled at times, he admitted. The alteration from being a single, independent man to going into marriage and then having children is life-changing. His honesty about the struggles he faced highlighted the universal challenges many new parents experience, regardless of their royal status. William's transition into parenthood was made smoother by the unwavering support of his wife, Catherine. Her role as a supportive partner was crucial in helping him navigate the complexities of fatherhood. William often speaks about how Catherine's presence has been a stabilizing force in his life, especially during the early days of parenthood when the adjustments can feel overwhelming. Her experience, composure, and natural maternal instincts provided a comforting balance to William's initial uncertainties. Having grown up with his brother, Prince Harry, William had little exposure to the dynamics of raising a girl. He spoke about this in his interview, noting the unique challenges and learning experiences that came with having a daughter. Bear in mind I haven't had a sister, so having a daughter is a very different dynamic, he said. So I'm learning about having a daughter, having a girl in the family. This statement reflects his openness to learning and adapting, traits that are essential for any parent. As any parent will attest, raising young children can be both a joy and a challenge, and this was no different for Prince William when he became a father to Princess Charlotte and Prince George. Despite his royal status and the support system in place, the everyday antics and energy of his young children often led to a fair share of headaches and moments of exasperation. In 2016, during an appearance at the Welsh Rugby Charitable Trust, Prince William provided a candid glimpse into the reality of parenting two young children. Speaking to attendees, he humorously lamented the chaos that often ensued at home with George and Charlotte. No broken bones yet, but they're trying, he joked, highlighting the energetic and mischievous nature of his children. Running around, pushing things, jumping. Please tell me it gets easier. At the time, Charlotte was just ten months old, and while she might not have been running and jumping just yet, her older brother George, who was nearly three, was undoubtedly a whirlwind of activity. George's boundless energy and curiosity kept William and Catherine on their toes as they navigated the challenges of ensuring his safety while allowing him the freedom to explore and play. Despite the playful chaos, William painted a picture of his daughter Charlotte as a sweet and easygoing baby. He shared, Charlotte is very easy, very sweet, a sentiment that likely brought some balance to the household dynamic. However, he also acknowledged the wisdom of more experienced parents who warned him of the challenges to come. All the fathers say, just you wait. When they get to 9, 10, 11, they go crazy. I'm looking forward to it. There will be some drama. In her early months, Princess Charlotte was described by her father as a little joy of heaven, reflecting the immense happiness and pride William felt as a father of two. His affection for his daughter was evident in his public remarks, where he often expressed how she brought joy and light into their lives. However, as Princess Charlotte grew, her personality began to assert itself in charming and sometimes mischievous ways. By the time she turned three, Prince William humorously revealed that his daughter had developed a bit of a naughty side. During the 2020 ITV documentary, A Planet for Us All, while interacting with children in Kenya, William playfully asked a young girl, Do you like trouble? You are like my little Charlotte. 
This anecdote highlighted Charlotte's spirited nature and her tendency to explore and test boundaries, traits that are common among toddlers discovering the world around them. In another endearing moment from the documentary, a curious child inquired whether Princess Charlotte was cheekier than her older brother, Prince George. William's response was affectionate and reflective of the sibling dynamics within their family. No, they're about as cheeky as each other. They're very cheeky, he replied with a smile. This glimpse into their sibling relationship showcased the playful interactions and close bonds shared between Charlotte and George, despite any mischief they might get into. Get into. William's lighthearted observations about his daughter's mischievous tendencies underscored his fondness for her spirited personality. Despite acknowledging her penchant for mischief, William seemed unfazed by it. Viewing Charlotte's curiosity and adventurous spirit as natural aspects of her development. During a visit to a hospital in 2017, Prince William playfully predicted that Princess Charlotte might be trouble when she grew older, a sentiment echoed by many parents who recognize the spirited nature of their children. I think she's going to be trouble when she's older, he remarked with a chuckle, adding, All fathers say that. This remark showcased William's relatability as a parent, highlighting his understanding of the inevitable challenges and surprises that come with raising children. Historically, the upbringing of royal children often relied heavily on the presence of nannies, with parents having less direct involvement in day-to-day -day care. This traditional approach began to shift notably with Princess Diana, who sought to provide Prince William and Prince Harry with as normal a childhood as possible, despite their royal status. Her hands-on parenting style marked a departure from royal norms, emphasizing personal involvement and nurturing. Princess Diana's influence on parenting extended beyond the royal family, challenging established norms and expectations. Her approach was characterized by openness, affection, and a desire for her children to experience life beyond palace walls. This included visits to theme parks, fast food restaurants, and other public places where they could blend in with other families. Prince William, having experienced firsthand the warmth and dedication of his mother's parenting, has carried forward her legacy with his own children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Since becoming a father, William has been actively involved in their upbringing, embracing a modern parenting style that defies traditional royal and patriarchal stereotypes. A significant moment that underscored William's commitment to hands-on parenting occurred when he proudly shared that he changed Prince George's first diaper. I had every midwife staring at me he humorously recalled during an interview with CNN, highlighting the rarity of such direct involvement by royal fathers in child care duties. While the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge do have the support of a nanny, they have taken on a substantial amount of child-rearing responsibilities themselves. This personal approach to parenting has been noted by those close to the family. Despite expectations of extensive staff assistance, Visits to their home revealed a scene where it was primarily William and Catherine caring for their children. You'd think that Catherine and William would have an army of staff to help them out, but it really was just them and the children, a source shared with people, emphasizing the couple's hands-on approach. William's dedication to active fatherhood is rooted in his desire to provide his children with the nurturing and stability he felt was lacking at times during his own upbringing. According to insights shared with the Daily Mail, William is determined to be a better father than King Charles was to him. He has expressed how his father's strong commitment to duty often meant sacrificing time with his children, particularly after the tragic death of Princess Diana. William's efforts to engage fully in his children's lives extend to everyday tasks like doing Princess Charlotte's hair, a task he has playfully admitted presents its challenges. I can do Charlotte's ponytail, but that's about it as I don't have enough hair to practice on, he once quipped, as reported by People. This candid remark not only showcases his sense of humor, 
but also highlights his willingness to tackle traditionally gendered roles associated with parenting. The royal family has long been known for its endearing and sometimes playful use of nicknames, revealing a more intimate and affectionate side behind their public personas. Prince William, in particular, has been both the recipient of and creator of charming monikers within the family circle. During his own childhood, Prince William was affectionately called Wombat, a nickname that captured the whimsical nature of his youth. This nickname, perhaps given due to his fascination with the Australian marsupial, reflects the warmth and informality that characterize family relationships behind palace walls. In turn, Prince William has playfully dubbed his wife Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, with the endearing nickname the Duchess of Doolittle, a nod to her affinity for animals and her hands-on approach to various charitable activities. Additionally, he has been known to affectionately refer to her as babykins, a term of endearment that underscores their close bond and mutual affection. The playful banter doesn't end there. Catherine has reciprocated with her own light-hearted nicknames for her husband, occasionally calling him Babe and Baldy, the latter likely a teasing reference to Prince William's receding hairline, a trait he humorously acknowledges. Within this playful tradition of familial nicknames, Princess Charlotte, the couple's second child and only daughter, has not been exempt. In a heartwarming moment captured during a visit to the Chelsea Flower Show in 2021, Kensington Palace shared a video where Prince William can be heard addressing Charlotte with what appears to be the affectionate term mignonette. This French word translates to little cutie or sweetie, suggesting a tender and loving nickname that Prince William uses for his daughter. While there hasn't been official confirmation regarding Princess Charlotte's nickname, reports from various sources suggest that Catherine affectionately calls her Lottie and Poppet, reflecting the intimate and loving relationships within the family. It is likely that Prince William also uses these endearing names to express his affection for his young daughter, further highlighting the close bond between father and daughter. From a young age, Charlotte has been adored for her charm, confidence, and occasionally cheeky behavior, which has endeared her to the public and added a delightful touch of spontaneity to royal engagements. In 2019, during an outing to watch a sailing race with her family, the then four-year-old Princess Charlotte playfully stuck her tongue out at the cameras, echoing a similar gesture, famously made by her father, Prince William, at the same age during a family wedding in 1986. This moment not only showcased Charlotte's playful nature, but also highlighted the familial resemblance and shared sense of fun between father and daughter. Charlotte's playful spirit has also been evident during formal royal events. At her younger brother Prince Louis's christening in 2018, when reporters gathered to cover the event, Charlotte charmingly quipped, You're not invited, as reported by My London. This cheeky remark, delivered with youthful innocence, captured media attention and further endeared her to royal watchers worldwide. These playful and spirited moments reflect Charlotte's natural confidence and her developing personality under the scrutiny of public life. They also mirror Prince William's own youthful moments of rebellion against the formality of royal protocol, such as when he famously protested the presence of photographers on his first day of school by saying, don't like photographers. Despite occasional displays of cheekiness, Princess Charlotte is typically well-behaved during official royal engagements, demonstrating her ability to adapt to her role as a young member of the royal family. As she grows older, her charming demeanor and regal presence have been noted during public appearances, where she has been seen keeping her younger brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis, in line with gentle authority an early indication of her potential future role within the royal family. Throughout her early years, Prince William's bond with Princess Charlotte has been a subject of fascination and admiration among royal watchers and body language experts alike. Analyzing their interactions, body language expert Judy James has provided keen insights into the dynamics of their relationship. According to James, 
Prince William's pride and affection for his daughter are palpable, often visible in subtle gestures and expressions that betray his emotions despite his efforts to maintain composure. In a notable instance from July 2022, a video shared on social media captured a heartwarming moment between Prince William and Princess Charlotte. In the video, they were seen wishing the England women's national soccer team good luck, showcasing a delightful father-daughter interaction. James noted Prince William's body language during this exchange, highlighting how he subtly expresses his pride and adoration for Charlotte. Even in moments where he attempts to suppress his emotions, such as tightening his lips, his genuine affection shines through. James further elaborated on Prince William's demeanor when speaking about Princess Charlotte in interviews and public appearances. She described his body language as bashful, self-effacing, playful, and undeniably besotted, painting a picture of a father deeply connected to his daughter and thoroughly enchanted by her personality and achievements. Besides, observers have noted the uncanny similarity between Prince William and Princess Charlotte. Their shared features, from their bright blue eyes to their charming smiles, have drawn widespread attention and admiration. Prince William himself has been surprised by the resemblance, as evidenced by a memorable incident when he mistook a photo of himself as a child for Princess Charlotte. The photo was part of a cupcake display showcasing images of him and Catherine at different stages of their lives. Upon seeing the image, Prince William exclaimed, Is that me? Because that looks just like Charlotte. That is incredible. This moment underscores not only the physical resemblance, but also the emotional connection Prince William feels towards his daughter, who seems to embody his younger self in many ways. Social media has also buzzed with comparisons between Prince William and Princess Charlotte with users frequently commenting on their likeness. Tweets describing their resemblance as eerie and joking that they could be twins reflect the widespread fascination with their shared appearance. Indeed, photographs of Prince William as a child, alongside images of Princess Charlotte, reveal striking similarities in facial features, expressions, and mannerisms, reinforcing the strong genetic bond between father and daughter. The physical resemblance between Prince William and Princess Charlotte extends beyond mere appearance. It carries with it a sense of familial continuity and legacy within the royal family. As a direct descendant of the British monarchy, Princess Charlotte's resemblance to her father serves as a visual reminder of her royal heritage and the traditions that have shaped generations of royals before her. This connection to her father not only enhances Princess Charlotte's public image, but also strengthens her role within the royal family as a symbol of continuity and future leadership. Moreover, observers have noted how Princess Charlotte gravitates toward her father during public engagements, seeking his attention and displaying a natural ease in his presence. Likewise, Prince William's paternal instincts are evident as he engages warmly with his daughter, whether it's exchanging playful banter or sharing affectionate moments that reflect a loving father-daughter bond. During the 2022 Commonwealth Games, for instance, fans were quick to observe and comment on the special connection between Prince William and Princess Charlotte. One Twitter user noted, Charlotte is very fond of William and vice versa. She was very engaged with him and snuggling up to him. They have a good bond as father and daughter. This observation underscores the visible affection and comfort Princess Charlotte feels in her father's company, reflecting a relationship built on mutual trust and love. Social media has become a platform where fans eagerly share their observations and admiration for Prince William's paternal role. Collages of photographs depicting Prince William and Princess Charlotte together over the years often accompany heartfelt captions expressing admiration for their close relationship. One such collage captioned, I love that we get to see the father and daughter relationship of Prince William and Princess Charlotte. William is so sweet with his children and he's not afraid to show that side of himself to the public. 
encapsulates the sentiment shared by many who appreciate seeing the Duke of Cambridge's nurturing side. Prince William's interactions with Princess Charlotte go beyond mere public appearances. They reflect a deeper connection nurtured within the private confines of their family life. Reports suggest that Prince William is actively involved in his children's upbringing, taking on responsibilities that include bedtime routines and everyday parenting tasks. This hands-on approach to fatherhood, reminiscent of Princess Diana's commitment to raising her sons, has endeared Prince William to royal enthusiasts who admire his dedication to creating a supportive and loving environment for his children. In addition, Prince William has been notably vocal about gender equality and empowering young women, a commitment that extends even into his role as a father raising Princess Charlotte alongside her brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis. This dedication to fostering a supportive and equitable environment for his children was poignantly highlighted during a tea event at Kensington Palace in 2019, where Prince William honored recipients of the Diana Award, a charity named after his late mother, Princess Diana. The Diana Award aims to empower young people by unlocking their potential and creating opportunities that ensure no young person is left behind. During this event, Prince William engaged with Olivia Hancock, a teenage soccer player recognized for her efforts in combating gender inequality within the sport. It was during this conversation that Prince William shared a charming anecdote about his children's involvement in soccer, particularly highlighting a playful rivalry between Prince George and Princess Charlotte. At the time of the event, Prince George was six years old and Princess Charlotte was four. Prince William revealed that during family matches, George would boast about his soccer skills, claiming he was better than his younger sister Charlotte. However, Prince William, ever the supportive father and advocate for gender equality, gently intervened when he heard this banter. According to Hancock, Prince William reminded George that Charlotte could be just as good as him, emphasizing equality and fairness in their friendly competitions. What do you think about the relationship between Prince William and his daughter Charlotte? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.